Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nipa TV show. I'm your host, Nipa TV, that's me, and we're gonna be doing a StarCraft uh, 1, I almost said StarCraft 2, a StarCraft Brood War, a, a replay, commentation, ca castation, whatever have you, that is what we doing. Um, and I was, I was trying to find a little bit, uh more refined i guess replay i know i sound like a douche nozzle when i say that but uh the other the other games i mean they weren't let's just be honest they were not a like a top tier professional level and i i like to i like to commentate the the professional you know the you know replete replays at the professional level doesn't mean i don't enjoy watching you know some lower tier games too it's just uh I, I just, I prefer people that, you know, treat this game like a job, you know? I mean, I think that's fair. Anyways, uh, disclaimer aside, let's go ahead and get to the uh, introductions here. We got B Began to Color. Um, B, B Began to Color as the green Zerg at the left side of the map. I think it's Fighting Spirit, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong about that. Um, and then we have the yellow... Zerg on the right side of the map as Amato565. I think he had a different name though. Hold on. Let me find this name. But uh, yeah, no, these two players, they uh, when I was looking at the statistics, they had a surprisingly extremely high AP AP APM count. Um, this guy is named Strutta. That's interesting. All right, well, let's see what uh, happens here. We got a spawning pool going down for uh, Strutta. Call him Strutta, and I'll call this guy Biggin. I'll call him Biggin. Biggin here. He's gonna do that there. Forge fast expand at the, uh, the the base over here, and he's gonna try to get that there Nexus and uh, secure a, a formidable economy to outwit his opponent. We do have an Overlord from Strutta coming downtown from the east side. And he is going to go ahead and uh, just uh, try to get some scouting information. He sees the Protoss pretty much doing standard, standard stuff. And uh, the probe from Biggin is being a bigot right now. And totally blocking the hatchery. And blocking in Brood War is a lot more brutal than SC2, let me tell you. Because at least in StarCraft 2, you have what's called an instant structure building uh, once you place it or pre pretty damn near instant in this game there's a little bit of delay which you'll you'll see with the structures um so yeah blocking in this game uh gas stealing always just spicy see why the heck are two drones here what the, what did they ever do to you man so strutta is sending his drones over to do some aggressive play that drone does go down so an eye for an eye or you know However many eyes that uh, drones have. No, the drone dies. And we actually do have Zerglings coming in. And the Photon Cannon is going to thwart those Zerglings. And this Overlord is actually in uh, view of this Photon Cannon. Will the Photon Cannon get it? Oh my god, 4 HP. That Overlord is lucky to be alive. Let's see if, uh, yeah, there's really nothing that Biggin can do to take care of that. That is so unfortunate. Um, Yeah. Hatchery is almost complete for that there. Strutta. And the Nexus does go down for Biggin. Surprisingly, Biggin is getting his Nexus before the Zerg. I don't know if that's standard for Brood War, but no matter. They, he's Strutta is still in this for sure. And I think these Zerglings do have speed. And look at this sneaky guy. Strutta is putting a third all the way over. The, uh, to the opposite side of the map, and he's just gonna have a secret, secret base. Don't you tell nobody. You know our parents aren't home. You know we don't don't tell nobody. We're just step bros. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, drones are, are tagging the probes, the probe here, and uh, he's got to pull away, and he does that. The Zerglings are gonna try to focus it down. Does the probe see the family's dirty little secret? I don't think they will. Does uh, probe is just gonna go over here. I think Biggin is expecting a third base for Strutta. I think he, yeah, you know what? I take it back. Biggin's going to find out this family secret. Oh, man. Where is he? Oh, man. I think he is. Oh, call the police. He found out. Okay. 
He sees that third base over on the other side. The Zerglings did not do their job. What are you guys doing? I can't believe you do this. You betrayed the Zerg Swarm. How could you do this? We see plus one actually coming out for Biggin here. So we might see some kind of timing attack, which will be very, very fun to see. We have Groove Spines, which is the increased Hydralisk attack range. So we will see some Hydralisk and some Lurkers for sure. We'll see what uh, Strata is going to build with this drone. Nope, turns out he's just moving him over to go work. <clears throat> like a hero. It's over here. Stargate. So, uh, standard PvZ, as we have noticed before, is uh, Corsairs. So, we will probably see some Corsairs on the field. And they will make great work of the Overlords. And uh, that'll be fun to see. PP. Okay, he has to use the restroom. Sorry, RR. Uh, I wonder who RR is. That will be interesting. Agilis are being sent out. Will we see some kind of aggressive push from Strutta? He's going to be met with some fierce opposition from this here Biggin. Does this overlord die? Nope, but uh, he is going to turn away. And it uh, looks like Strutta is kind of chilling. He does have some more Agilis coming out. Will he get uh, Lurkers to try to kite out, try to maybe snag some buildings? Hydralisk is um, caught by that photon cannon a little bit, but the Hydralisk, as you can see, they're uh, they're doing work on that there gateway. Going to try to take it down. We have five photon cannons down for Strutta. Uh, quite a... Uh, Quite a bit of photon cannons for sure. This pylon, if this pylon goes down, I'm pretty concerned because these photon cannons will be unpowered. And the gateway does go down. Does he have gateways in the base? He does have some warping in. And uh, at this point, yeah, Strata is just kind of chilling, trying to secure his base here. This, and the Corsair does go out, doesn't get any kills. Uh, did damage that Overlord, tickled him a little bit. It's always fun to see Corsairs tickling Overlords. This Overlord is really low. I think this was the 4 HP Overlord that we saw earlier. The hero. And uh, at this point, yeah, Strut is doing just a, a basic contain on Biggin before Biggin moves out. We see that. Where's that Corsair? He is gonna... Oh man, there are two Corsairs. This poor Overlord. What is he gonna do? The Hydras aren't even focusing. Oh no! The Overlord. Wow! These Overlords are getting super lucky this game. My goodness. This is crazy to see. Hydras are going in. And it looks like Strata is just gonna go straight for the Jiggler. If he takes out this pylon, he will... Oh, he will uh, definitely unpower everything. Corsair does go in, does kill that Overlord. Poor sad day. But that Overlord Psystorm is being moved out, and I am surprised. Oh, we see a Dark Templar on the field. Interesting. Oh, yeah, and Brood War for Dark Templar, all you need is a Templar Archives. You don't need a Dark Shrine. That is right. Forgot about that. Probes are being pulled to try to stop the opposition of Strata at this time, but uh, as we know, Hydralis are pretty good versus probes. But yeah, no, things are looking pretty good. Lair is complete. I believe that was complete earlier. We actually have a macro hatch in the natural. Or Strutta probes are still being pulled at this time. Um, Biggin is kind of in a bad situation at this time. He does have that plus one with his weapons. He has one Zealot and one High Templar. Will he get the money shot with those with that size storm? We shall see. Does he even have enough? I don't think he has enough energy for uh, size storm. How much is it? Seventy-five. He almost has it. Zealot is trying to trying to stop the hydras, but the uh, the macro or the amount of hydras are simply too much. Duh, we have some zealots. Duh, we have some zealots coming out, and uh, we have enough for a side storm. There it goes. That's a pretty good side storm, actually. Does damage the hydras, but uh, simply put, we have a lot of forces coming down for or coming down to Biggin's front door again. And uh, this is not looking good for Biggin, for sure. Uh, and there is no way in hell that High Templar have enough energy by a reasonable time. We have some Zealots being churned out. They are going to focus on these Hydralis. He is holding. Biggin is holding. This is kind of cool to see. And, uh, yeah, he's kind of he's kind of thwarting the opposition a little bit. We have two more Zealots on the way. Um, kind of interesting decision to push out with these Zealots. But 
he's doing work and the Corsairs are uh, trying to focus as much as they can. I think Corsairs actually have another ability. I forgot what it is. It's some kind of like stasis thing. I'd have to take a look at it again. If I ever, if I ever pick up Brood War again. And uh, we actually do have almost a side storm for the High Templar, but these Hydrals are going to take his lunch money. And the Zealots, as these Zealots as well. Uh, probes are still being pulled, and, you know, Biggin's still, still holding, but, I mean, there's just more forces on the way from Strutta. We'll see what happens at this time. And Zealots are being kited out. We have a High Templar. It doesn't have enough energy for... Uh, Side storm, it almost does. We got 10 left, and uh, probes are being held, and we're almost there. Do the hydralis clump up, and uh, we <laughs> see some more hydralis coming in, and uh, the side template does have enough energy for side storm right here. It's going in. There it is. That's a pretty good side storm. Um, and uh, the other one, <clears throat> the other one does have it as well. He's going to wait for the Hydralis to clump up. And they are clumped now, and that's a pretty good side storm. There we go. It's doing damage. We have an Archon, too. This is pretty cool to see. Oh, man. Biggin is... St he's, he's hanging on me. He's not giving up. I like this a lot. You know, the odds are against him, but he's just refusing to quit. He's just like, I got, I got some money. I'm going to keep going, and I'm not going to stop. I'm not stopping, man. Do we see any other bases? We don't see any other bases from Strata at this time. I feel like he could... Oh, what the heck? What happened to all these drones? Oh, Dark Templar! Wait a second! Where's that Dark Templar? Did he kill all of those drones? Oh my god, that's crazy! Where is he? Where is he? Is he over here? No. Am I dumb? Here we are. He's right here. 25 kills! My goodness! The hero Dark Templar saving the day for Bacon unfortunately does meet his demise, but not before being the legend. Oh my god, let the legend come back to life. That Dark Templar is my hero. His name is Larry. My goodness, Larry the Dark Templar, that's his name. What a hero. Wow! What a hero, man. That was cool to see. And we actually... Megan's still holding on. This is crazy. What is going on? Megan uh, still has, you know, he has some saturation in his base. And if it wasn't for the Dark Templar, I went back. I'm like, did he pull his drones? And uh, no, that Dark Templar was just the hero that that fighting spirit needed, man. Oh my goodness. And as Elethar being moved out... They're going to try to do a bunch of damage. Hydralis are being pulled up to this uh, tertiary base. But that leaves uh, that leaves the natural exposed, too. Uh, Lair is being focused. That's a key tech <coughs> key, key tech structure, for sure. And uh, it's probably going to die, for sure. Wow. Is Biggin going to be able to pull this out of the bag? Wow, this will be crazy. If he wins this, my goodness, what a comeback. I did not even notice Larry, the Dark Templar. That was cool. I'm like nerdgasming like crazy. I apologize. Uh, we got some. Z we have some Zerglings moving in. We have some uh, High Templar. Very nice storms on the on the Hygel the Hygelus there. They are low enough, and the Zealot Count is pretty decent. So we'll see if uh, they get the uh, the Hygelus get focused, and they do. Oh man, the kiting is real. And uh, that is game from Strutta. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Biggin. Biggin won that game. What? What a. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Thank you for watching this uh, this broadcast. I, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.